Hello, this is George Pacheco again with another little cooking segment. This one's going to be a little different. We have a guest chef. I'm going to get ready to introduce my guest chef just a moment. You need a special guest chef introductory hat. I thought this would be appropriate. Bring on that guest chef. Come right over here, guest chef. Uh, Should we sing? You can be Jeanette. He does look like Nelson Eddy. This is a senior program, so <laughs> people Everyone know knows. Him. Everyone knows. So I have been invited here. You have indeed. Uh, as a uh, chef for this segment, and I thought I would make a Pardon this. So I'm going to push this term a bit. An elegant appetizer. Elegant. I like elegant. Yes, and it's called a mushroom bruschetta. Watch Easy the way for you to yeah, say. Watch, yeah. you, watch the way you say that. Yeah. Um, mm. And it could be served as an appetizer, or I have served it accompanied by a soup. So it's sort of like a soup and sandwich. Light lunch, brunch, late Sunday afternoon repast. Perfect. Do you ever have those up in the Yukon? Uh, I've had a repasta too. <laughs> okay. Uh, relatively simple, although it's going to at first look complicated. There's really two steps. One is to uh, slice some onions and caramelize them. Ooh. Uh, that's a term that bugs me somewhat. But in this case, it actually is relatively easy, and it does, uh, they brown up. Without burn, I've only burned them four times in this uh, take. Here. Yeah, you, no, were, no, you were <laughs> yeah, working on it earlier. Yeah. I want to show you something here, a little bit of a shortcut that I love. Okay. All right, normal onions, curve, curve those fingers, slice away, right? Thinly or thickly? Thinly, but Thinly. you know, it's tough to get. All right? Yeah, it's so growing up there. Yeah, no, it isn't that bad. But here's a little trick. This is called a mandoline. Nelson here calls it a mandolin. Mandolin. A mandolin but is that's the, the, you know, the, yes. Yeah, and, uh, the wood ones and the fancy ones they use in France, $100 plus. Ooh, this is a Japanese model made out of plastic. I've had it probably for eight years. Works like a charm. Does. $20 maybe, $25. You could probably get one on Amazon. So I want, to show, I want to show you something. Don't go near that blade. That thing will cut your finger off. Do fingernails? There, there is a guard. Yeah, that's what my fingers used to be. There, but yeah, yeah. anyhow, so. <laughs> oh. You're watch on the that. onion. Yeah, I know. So, watch this. Ready? Oh, look at those, huh? Look at, look at, look at, look at. Cool, thin, thin, nicely thin, done. Nice. Look I've at already that. done some over here. You have. Basically, in this recipe, it's going to be a serving for four people. Mm -hmm. um, There's only two of us. Well, we'll just eat twice. Eat as twice much. as much. The, oh, okay. <laughs> so, use about four small onions. Okay. Okay. The mushroom section, which will be step two, I would like to just show you now. This is called, I use two mushrooms here, two different types. Shiitake. 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 I didn't know you spoke Japanese. Oh, yeah. no, no, we better watch that. We're going to be politically incorrect. And then a oyster mushroom. Mm. Pretty slick, huh? Yeah. You These, get those in the ocean? Ocean? Yeah. You, you rake them? No, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> These used to be considered exotic. Um, Nowadays, you find them in every uh, supermarket. That's I, easy. Basket has them. I bought these in, in Stop and Shop because I was over there in North Beverly. There. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Step one: We are going to sauté and caramelize the onions. Mm -hmm. For this, we will use a rather heavy skillet, uh, some vegetable oil, not olive oil. We don't oh. want to impart an olive flavor. We okay. Want a neutral flavor. Um, a little kosher salt. And then the secret ingredient, Marcella wine. Oh. And that will give it the brown. Ah. It's a little bit lengthy. It's 20 minutes or so. You should let this go. The recipe calls for constant stirring. I, I, I stir it every once in a while. Every okay? month. Yeah. All right? Okay. So I would suggest we go to the grill. Which is right behind us here. Stove. Whatever. Stove. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. We're heating up the pan before we add the oil. Uh, and that's a thing a lot of home cooks don't do, but it, believe me, professional chefs do. This has been going a little bit off camera. So I am now going to add some oil, precisely three tablespoons. I like the way you measure. Correct that? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. It was just a little. Yeah, I know oh, right that now. you noticed yeah. oh, I that did. it was. I uh, did. Well, give it a little heat. 
And you, what you want to do is kind of let it go till it shimmers a bit. Shimmers. Shimmers. Oh, you could stick your finger in there if you want, but uh, I wouldn't, would, I wouldn't would advise burn. that, Nelson. Yeah, it would burn. <laughs> and it'll come up. I am going to reach over and grab my onions and a wooden spoon. The wooden spoon, yes. Now, if you didn't have a wooden spoon, could you use Don't one of those plastic ones? Go buy some can clam chowder or something. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so can, I always use everybody, well, everybody, everybody cooking at home should have wooden spoons. You can buy a set, for goodness sakes, uh, at Christmas tree shop. You could carve them. Or you could go to Williamson Home and you could eight, eight, take a bank loan and yes, buy it. Williamson but, <laughs> better watch it. We're going to get sued one of these days. Uh, well, they're just not going to sponsor us anymore. Oh, wait. No one sponsors us. No one sponsors. <laughs> I'd say we can do it. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is one. Sound. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, you put the in, and I'll get this. You don't stir them for about three or four minutes. Why is that? Don't ask those questions. Yeah, okay. The, um, that'd be part two. The, so you let it just sit there. Actually, what you're doing is you're sort of wilting them. You're taking out some water. Mm -hmm. uh, so you let that happen. And to amuse yourself, you can uh, pretend that. <laughs> that's that's quite a bit of amusement. That's your, that's your yeah. why no, I like okay. that. Maybe you don't do that. No, I, that's why I, was, I was never a no, good winner, you know. <laughs> so, so. You're bad. I'm going to speed it up a bit, okay? And uh, now you too. And after a few minutes, before you add my secret ingredient, I'm going to reach over and get some kosher smell. Ooh. That's the big grain stuff? Yes. Yep. Good. It should always be used in cooking. Uh, precisely half a teaspoon. Yeah. That did it. You, you Over like the show. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. It's okay. for good That's luck. That's what the sumo wrestlers do. On the, on the floor. Yeah. You want, I can, yes, sumo. I can almost. <laughs> yeah. I would have worn my <laughs> outfit, but I wanted this to be a, okay. a, a, a public TV, you know. Well, I'm going to start stirring them now, which you can do, because it's uh, been about three minutes, okay? And you got to kind of move these babies around. The recipe at this point does call for constant stirring. Constant stirring. I, I pay pretty much attention to that at this phase and then I slack off once I add the secret ingredient. So now that magic term you don't like caramelizing, I thought that what that meant is it brought the sweetness of the onion out. Well, they, yeah, they tan and they become a little sweeter. So, um, but the secret ingredient, with, what, I mean, we're going to use it in a moment. It's marsala wine. Works for me. Works good. You can make chicken marsala with it. Yeah. Uh, I buy it by the big bottle. Of Father that, chicken, uh, do you? Local uh, liquor store. Yes. I won't say which one. Because no. There's too many of them. Um, you didn't That's hear a me. commercial. No. Well, no, well, not really. If, uh, are they one of our sponsors? We'll have to talk to them about it. Uh, yeah, I think they <laughs> should be. I think they should be. Okay, we've uh, been sauteing these for five plus minutes, I'd say. Now, Maestro. Paul, I have your masala. Masala wine. Masala. I didn't drink any. Three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Ready? Oh, the cork smells good. Ooh, one and a half. Spilt a little, so we'll go a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Precisely perfect. three. <laughs> you know. Perfect. When you bake, you really have to follow the exact amounts. <laughs> but, uh, savory, I'm, that's why I'm a lousy baker. But uh, with uh, savory cooking, which is what we're kind of doing here, you really don't have to be exact. I mean, you don't want to be way out of the ballpark. But uh, yeah, Speaking of ballpark, uh, do you know who played for the Boston Bruins, the Boston Celtics, and the Boston Red Sox? Well, um, I don't off the uh, well, you know, I think I do. Oh, you've heard I this? I think it was a guy named Kylie. John Kylie, he was the organist. That's yeah. right. That's he a great, played. That's that a was great. terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible job. Okay. He was good. He was good. Yeah. At this point, um, we'll let this go. We're going to turn it down. 
to a little lower heat. I've got it about medium here. Does this get stirred again? You're supposed to stir it every few minutes. I kind of no. keep it in the back of my head and come over every once in a while. But what we're going to do now is go over and chop up those mushrooms and get those ready. But before we do that, we're going to turn on this burner. Believe me, it pays to have the pan hot before you add the cooking liquids, which That's in this soft. case are going to be vegetable oil and butter. Vegetable and butter. Couldn't yes. be easier. Let's go. Okay, I am sort of jumping ahead before I cut the mushrooms. We're going to use some shallots later. Shallots. Shallots, which are now, again, are readily available. They're uh, like mild onions. Yes. I'll tell you what you can do in a pinch. If you mm -hmm. run out or you don't want to buy them, sometimes they're a little bit more expensive than onions. Use a red onion. Yep. And I do it frequently. And Looks the same. They can't tell the difference. Okay. So these shiitakes are already cut. Nice, nice time saver. Yes. You got to watch this baby, though, on the oyster. You see it's kind of got that tough root system down there? Oh, yeah. Just kind of cut that out. Not a big deal. No. Without cutting your finger. Yeah. <laughs> you can't use no. the mandoline for this? Not really, because these no. have a, be a like, yeah, funny, I mean, different shape. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, they look now, different. My hands are clean, by the way, and sanitized. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> of course, okay? Cooled me. No, now I'm going to add the oil to that hot pan, which we've been heating up on the stove. Let me just run over there and do that, because I want to show you something else. Not too hot. We are going to use two cooking liquids here. Vegetable oil again. Not olive oil. Three, precisely three. Where is it? Three there? Well, you have a <laughs> You're right there. It's perfect. <laughs> now, why do you mix the two? Why the oil and the butter? Uh, don't ask those questions. You don't know. Yeah. No, you do. It. You, it's a combination of uh, cooking liquids, if you will, for yep. different reasons, all right? This yep. will impart a flavor. Um, use salt free butter. Don't come near me the. Salt free butter? Salt free, okay. And, uh, so you can. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It's cold, obviously. You, you, can, you can adjust later if you salt free. You can always add salt, but you can't take it out. Right. I knew but that. But old fogies like us, you have to watch the salt. Oh. That's <laughs> just the way. We're going to go over there and uh, take care of this butter. Okay. Well, I have the heat relatively low now in these onions. Ooh. Nelson Eddy over good here giving a stir. We've had uh, the. Vegetable oil heating up. I loved it. This. <laughs> Stop playing with the food. That's cool. <laughs> I gotta stir that around and get that get that rolling before we add the mushrooms. Melting nicely. I might have gone fairly heavy on the butter, but remember to give these a stir every once in a while. Oh, they are coming up. See how they're tanning? Oh, they're Giorgio. Nelson, Look at that. Teddy Roosevelt, whatever you name I is. think they're getting caramelized. Yes. <laughs> what were you saying earlier about? Well, there's an order of nuns over there that caramelize. The caramelized. No? Okay. I'm going to run over here and get my uh, mushrooms. Look at that. Oh. Now, this looks like a lot of mushrooms. No? I like a lot of mushrooms. Plus, I, did, I wanted to use up the little containers that I bought. No. Whoa. But you're going to liberally put these over. Um, we're going to toast some French bread. And Whoa. that will be the base of the, of the onions. So you don't have to, in your hand. Or That's right. That's right. You don't want to because you'd burn But these will, these will cook down, too. Yes. And yeah. they will, um, how, do you, how should I say this? I don't know. Exude. <laughs> Some Exude. Of the the uh, moisture will go out of them. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to step it's over here. It's beginning just already. A sec. Yeah. I want to grab some salt. I don't think there's any such thing as too much butter, really. <laughs> no, it's Julia Child, certainly. Uh, yeah. So in the eyes of my cardiologist, he thinks there's too much sort of yeah, butter. But, um, yeah, yeah. Julia Child said she, she couldn't cook without butter. It's precisely half a teaspoon, as you see. Yes. Very good at, at measurements. I like that. 
See, you now those are cooking down over there. It's beautiful. Yeah, you can add a little pepper if you want. I just, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Don't forget to give these uh, onions a little stir. Again, it sort of seems complicated, two pans, but you got them right side by side. These, in a way, um, sort of tend to themselves. Yep, yep, you know? they I mean, did, yeah. You know, with deal. that masala, they hopefully won't burn. No. Oh. Can you drink masala also? Or? Well, if you hide up and you run out of the good stuff. Yeah, it's a little sweet. Yeah, it'd be like the cane, pre cana or the cana. Oh, yeah. So, we're getting very That's religious a, here. Oh, we are. Marriage at cana. Marriage, yeah. The, the bad wine, then the good wine? Yeah. <laughs> so the other way around? Yeah. Okay. This is the cool part okay. of this recipe coming up. You're going to love this. No, I, I'm, <laughs> okay, this is I'm cool. sure I will. This is cool. You see how I'm kind of putting them in, making them a little compact? Yes. And then I'm going to make... Clearing in the middle. Is that cool? Oh. That's artistic. That's almost something that guy, Jim, Malone, that guy oh. Jim Maloney would do. You know. Why would I want to do that? Because it looks cool. Oh, no, I you're going to add some. I'm going to go over and get my shallots. Oh, and I see. one or two other ingredients. I'll be right back. All right. Well, I got them most of them in the center. You want those? I want your style. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to zip off again and get you one more ingredient. That is thyme. Half a teaspoon. Uh, this you is want the thyme? It's about. Stop. No? I, I set myself up. For yeah, that. you did. You did. Uh, so, I use dry thyme. The, re the original recipe that, uh, when I first did this dish, calls for fresh herbs. All these recipes call for fresh herbs. Yeah. Um, and they are good. They are good. But uh, winter months, off season, unless you've got your own little garden, it's, I think, um, dry Enormously herbs. expensive for the couple of sprigs you're going to use. Correct. Correct. And the others always get stuck in the vegetable drawer in the back, and they're all rotten when you discover them again. Mm, not good. <laughs> so, not good. You, you kind of wait until these wilt. Oh, I see. You, that's why you made the little yeah. imp thing. Yeah, it's like a little shallot holder. Kind of cooking in a mushroom pan. Kind of cool. It is. How about those onions? Man? They look good. Or they what? look good enough to eat. Yeah, they will be. You'll gobble this up. Believe me, you're, you're going to love this. You're going to try this at home. I, I, I can see it already. I want you to try this at home, really. It, again, I, at the beginning, I said this is thing. It, it's something that looks complicated, but it really isn't. It doesn't take any real sharp skills. I mean. Well, that's why you're doing it. That's why I'm doing it here. Yeah. So. Yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, is sherry vinegar. And I dated a girl. Sherry Vinegar? Sure, yes. She I used did. to dance at what's not yeah, good. Well, no. The um, <laughs> it, it's a key ingredient to this, and really you shouldn't mess around sometimes. I've used red wine vinegar in a pinch. But what I want, the reason I have the two bottles, this I bought at Stop and Shop. I think it was $7.50, $7.99, something Ooh. like that. This I bought at an unnamed uh, fancy gourmet store. It was eighteen dollars. Wow. The same product, I just try to pass that along to you, okay? Well, the cap doesn't. Oh, it does. Oh, it has a nice. Co oh, no, no, the, yeah. No, <laughs> different so, show for that. I'm gonna add precisely three six tablespoons. Six cups. No, three tablespoons. Look at to that. Deglaze the pan. Oh, okay. deglaze. And you gotta let that go down a bit. Keep an eye on those uh, onions. onions yeah. Although they're doing fine. Well, they're on your side. I can't yeah. keep an eye on them. It would be impolite and reach across. But no, it would be. Get my. You know, hand and everything. These oh, no. are these are really looking good. Yeah. Mmm. Don't get too close. <laughs> oh, wow! That vinegar will fry that vinegar. That clears your sinus. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. I neither. <laughs> okay. The last ingredient. We have let the uh, sherry vinegar reduce down a bit, as we say. A quarter to a half a cup of heavy cream. Oh, um, be still my heart. It is. <laughs> well, you don't want to stop your heart. No, well, it's true. 
In fact, just yesterday I saw my cardiologist. Ooh, I check. Asked me how I was doing. I said, great. So two more pounds and I'd be obese. I mean, can you imagine? I think I, I'm so get a new cardiologist. Right, you don't need I that said. nonsense. Yeah. Get a new one. It's also like he says, I only have two glasses of wine. So I said, how big the glass? You know what? He, <laughs> he didn't. He didn't dis- have a yeah, very well, good sense of humor. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. These are going to be, this is going to be served over grilled baguette. You know, French loaf. French loaf. Right. Yes. So I want to put this on about, I want to get that cream bubbling. Can you see it? Isn't yes. Cool. Do. Just I've shut it. off the onions just for a okay. little protection. The onions are good. Yeah. We're going to go to the broiler, which I uh, just put on. Should I be Cut attending to this every now and then? No, yeah, the yeah, you can dart over yeah. here. Because okay. I'm right. going to have to watch you. You don't want to make uh, this charcoal. Uh, no. Again, okay. Now that would kind of throw the whole thing off. <laughs> okay, so let me get over to the broiler. This is my baguette. They're available all over the place. Actually, I like the ones up in Market Basket. They... Um, they have the ones in the paper bag, but they have the ones that are in yep. the cellophane. Cellophane? And they are excellent. Yeah. Well, All right, so I'm going to cut off. Now, this is going to be the serving size, okay? So that would be an adequate appetizer, say, right? No, or you can cut I'm this off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should yeah. I throw it up? No, no. <laughs> I would say but that's quite an appetizer. That's, well, that's a big appetizer. Well, you're a big boy, so. Uh, <laughs> so. Thanks. Thanks for reminding <laughs> would me. Would you? Get me that broiling tray over there. I, I'll get the broiling tray. If the, while I'm here, I'm going to give this a little stir. This is a little fat, so I just pressed it down a bit. Yeah. Yeah, keep an that. eye on that. Uh, I'll keep watching. Mushroom that. mixture. I'll, I'll be responsible okay. for that. Look at this. Pop the puppies on here. Aren't you going to have any? You know, it, the recipe doesn't call for this, but sometimes you can drizzle a little oil on this. What type of oil? That you could, uh, would that be all or is all going to be I've over? preaching uh, not uh, olive oil. Yeah, because so it uh, overpowers. I will just say that vegetable oil, but at home, yeah, I have used olive oil. It kind of gives the baguette a nice flavor. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not speaking with forked tongue. I'm just no. telling you a little thing that I do. <laughs> On the okay. side. S- special twist. Now you keep an eye on those... Uh, Mushrooms over there. Well, I burned my hand under the broiler here. <laughs> oh, golden <laughs> brown. Golden that? brown. Sergeant Look at Preston. That. Woo! Would you be so kind yes. as to get me a serving plate? Well, let me see. I'll do the technical stuff. You do the. <laughs> We smell good? Oh, yes, we do. We smell very good. You could use a pair of uh, tongs here if you wanted, but I sometimes put that. A wooden spoon is good. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Stand by. Look at that. Nicely done. Move over. How the mushrooms? Oh, be still my heart. Look at this. Top of those onions. Oh, mushrooms. The mushrooms. Look at that. Right, I let them drape yeah. over the side too. They're really beautiful. Kind of, huh? They're beautiful. Nice? Oh, absolutely. Now the only other thing left, if yes. you want to get really along in the elegant road, um, would be to put some um, greenery on there. Well, we chopped, have some uh, greenery. Okay. Chopped chives. Chop parsley. As you can see, I was Let's lazy. Let's use parsley. I, I didn't chop this. No, but you but can just you know what you could pull it right off. Fancy restaurants. Yeah. Sure, some are on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Just or said, just lay across this. and let the people take it off. No, beautiful. It adds a little bit. And you could also put a little lemon peel there if you wanted. All right, that's uh, that's appealing. Yes, you don't have to peel the lemon. You can just cut like a wedge. Just skip this. Right. Right. Let's so, just get right in there. You have it. Oh. Uh, mushroom bruschetta. <laughs> Paul, what kind of beverage would go well with this? Would that be a, a lemon and lime soda? You could, you a could cola? Have moxie. Moxie. But, you know, what I would good. suggest is. Yes. 
and I have a very good, oh. well, very good. This is nice. I try to keep it under twelve dollars. This is a uh, Russian River Pinot Noir. Sounds good. What year? Uh, February. It's a February. February. Yes, February. Yeah, okay. Early February. No, it's really? 2013. It's last year, but Pinot, last year. as you know, ages relatively quick. Yes. No, oh, I think this... God, a good choice. Good choice for that. Nice Offset glasses. the mushrooms. Oh, nice. So, yeah. my friend. Well, another show. That's what you do. Mushroom. Shouldn't we taste the bruschetta? No, let's drink the wine first. Yes. Do, do I need the hat? hat? The official hat? Yes. Right. I want to sing every time we put this hat on. Look at that for a steak. Oh. A fork. Yeah. yeah. We use these to skin deer up there in the yeah, north. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's not polite to eat without. I should have eaten this first, you know. I'm a guest. Is that cool or what? Oh, it <laughs> You did it again. Folks, really, try it at home. It's delicious. You'll love it.